Hi guys, welcome to the Catway. So in this video, we are going to solve our daily set. And before we begin, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can log on to catway.in for more info on the cat course. So what do we have today is that the performance of six students of a class in five subjects is evaluated on a nine point grading system. Okay. Each student is awarded a grade and grade points in each of the five subjects based on the marks obtained by him in that subject. Okay. So let's say a student gets between 91 to 100 marks, he will be awarded 10 grade points in grade A1. Similarly, marks between 81 to 90, grade A2 will be there and grade point 9 will be there and so on. So this is how the read, what is the reading of table 1. Now table 2 shows the marks obtained by each student in the five subjects. Okay, so marks have been given, three figures have been omitted, that is these three values we are, are unknown to us. Okay, then what we have is that a GPA, a student's GPA, that is grade point average is the average of grade points awarded to him in the five subjects. Okay, so average of the grade points has to be taken. Okay, so this is what we have. All right. Now, guys, what we have is that for Abhishek, for Puneet, and for Sanjay, we know we know all the values, like all the scores, so we can easily calculate their GP. Okay, we can easily uh, calculate the GP and the grade points. So, like for Abhishek in English, you can see he got 56 so grade points will be 6 okay in hindi his grade point will be his score is 67 so his grade point will be 7 and so on it has been given okay so i'm not going to show you now how to calculate so the sum of the grade points for abhishek is 39 the sum of the grade points for abhishek is 39 the sum of the grade points for saral is basically 35 plus z the sum of the grade points for himanshu is 36 plus x the sum of the grade points for Puneet is 44. 44. The sum of grade points of Vijay is 30 plus Y. And the sum of grade points of Sanjay is 40. Okay, so this has been given. Okay. <clears throat> now some additional information is given that sum of GP of Saral and Puneet. Okay, Saral and Puneet is equal to sum of GP of Himanshu and Sanjay. Okay, then GP of Abhishek and Vijay are equal. Saral, Himanshu, Puneet, Sanjay get distinct GPAs. Take it. Then, though the total marks, that is the sum of marks obtained in five subjects of Himanshu is not the highest, his GPA is highest among the students. Okay, his GPA is highest among the students. And the sum of the marks obtained by six students in science is more than the sum of the marks obtained by the six students in exactly three of the other four subjects. Okay. So what we know is that GPA of Abhishek and Vijay are equal. Okay. What we know is the GPA of Abhishek and Vijay are equal. Okay. Now for that to happen, guys, the sum of the GPA should be equal. So if sum of GPA of Abhishek is 39 and sum of GPA of uh, uh, Vijay is 30 plus Y, so from here, what do we get? That the y value is in grade point is 9. And if the y value in grade point is 9, so basically uh, this guy uh, Vijay in maths has got between 81 to 90 marks. It can be anything, but he has got 80, between 81 to 90 marks. This has been given to you. Okay. Another thing that has been given that the sum of GPA of Saral and Puneet. Now again, sum of GPA it is talking about, but we can take the grade points. Okay, we can take the grade points. Okay, the total grade points. Okay, so for Saral it is 35 plus Z. For Saral it is 35 plus Z plus Puneet. Puneet has got 44 is equal to sum of GP of Himanshu and Sanjay. So for Himanshu it is 36 plus X, and for Sanjay it is 40. Okay, for Sanjay it is 40. So upon solving this, what do we get? That X is equal to Z plus one. Okay. Upon solving this, what do we get is that X is equal to Z plus one. Okay. Achha. Now what we know is that the grade point obtained by Himanshu, grade point average obtained by Himanshu is the highest. Okay. By Himanshu is the highest. Currently, who do we have as the highest? Currently, we have Puneet as the highest. Okay. Apart from that, it could be Saral if the value of Z goes to 10. Okay. If the value of Z goes to 10, it would be Saral. If the value of Z is 9, then it would be uh, he would get equal to Puneet and if value of Z is less than 9, then he will be less than Puneet. Okay? And currently, for the absolute values we have, Puneet is the highest. And what we need is for Himanshu to go above Puneet. Okay? Himanshu needs to go above Puneet. 
Now let's say if value of x becomes eight. Okay, if value of x becomes eight, the GPA total GPA of Himanshu will be equal to forty four. In that case, he will be equal to Puneet, right? He will be equal to Puneet. ठीक है, his GPA when you divide this number by six and six, he will be equal to Puneet. ठीक है, but that cannot be the case. That means the minimum possible value of x is going to be nine. Okay, the minimum possible value of x is going to be nine. Okay, so what are the two possibilities for x? So x key possibilities are nine and ten. If x key possibilities are nine and ten, in that case, z will be equal to eight or nine. ठीक है. Now let's talk about this case. If the value of x is ten, in that case, the value of z will be nine. So if value of z will be nine, then Saral will also have a GPA of GPA sum of forty four. That means he will be equal to Puneet. ठीक है. That means He will be equal to Puneet, but what we know is that Saral and he Puneet have got distinct GP. ठीक है? That means Saral has to be lower than Puneet. Saral has to be lower than Puneet. Hence, the case in which x was ten and z was nine is not possible. Hence, the only one case is possible that the value of x is nine and the value of z is one. ठीक है? That means x का value is basically between eighty one to ninety and value of z is equal to between seventy one to eighty. Between seventy-one to eighty. ठीक है. So now what we know is the GPA of all the people. ठीक है. We know the value of Z. So value of Z is thirty-five plus eight. That is forty-three. ठीक है. We know the value of X. That is equal to nine. So his is thirty-six plus nine. That is thirty-six uh, plus nine. Just a second, guys. Thirty-six plus nine. That is forty-five. And we have the value of Y also as equal to nine. Okay. We have the Y value of nine. Y also as equal to nine. Now in this case it is possible because nothing has been told about Vijay Kavu. Okay, and Vijay and Abhishek it has been given they have equal GPA. Okay, so now we know the GPA of also of all the people. Okay, now guys, what do we know is uh, what do we know is that now talk about the marks in each subject. Okay, marks of the total subject because one info has been given to us the sum of marks obtained by the six sub six students. Okay. So if you talk about English, okay, let's let's remove all this data that we have identified and written. Okay, let's remove all this data. Just we will write the values of x, y, and z. Okay, the only thing we are going to remember and write is the value of x, y, and z. So the value of x was nine, value of z was eight, and the value of y was nine. So these are the three values that we have got. Okay, now talk about the total scores of all the students in English. So in score in English is three seventy four plus x. Okay. Similarly, score in Hindi is equal to four hundred and seventy. Similarly, the score in mathematics is four hundred and forty-five plus Y. Okay. The score in science is three ninety-one plus uh, plus Z, and the score in social science, I hope it is social science, is four hundred and sixty-two. Okay. Now, one information has been given to you that uh, the sum of the marks obtained by six students in science. Okay, six students in science. Is more than the sum of the marks obtained by the six students in exactly three of the other four subjects. Okay, so science is definitely more than three of the other four subjects. Okay, so if science has to be more than three of the other four subjects, let's see. Now, value of z could be between seventy-one to eighty. Value of z could be between seventy-one to eighty, right? Value of nine could be eighty-one to ninety, right? Now, if you look at The difference between maths and science. Okay, if you look at the difference between maths and science, what do you get is that maths is already ahead by fifty-four points. Fifty-four points it is ahead, and the maximum difference y and z can create for science is that maybe it is possible that y ka value it gets to eighty-one. Okay, if it gets the minimum value in y that is eighty-one, and z gets the maximum value that is eighty. Okay, still science will be less than maths. ठीक है, so science is always going to be less than maths. That means science is more than English, Hindi, and social studies. ठीक है, science is more than English, Hindi, and social studies. ठीक है, eighty one to ninety. Now guys, the maximum value that English can go is four hundred and sixty four. ठीक है, and the maximum value uh, for uh, अच्छा, we do not need to calculate for others. ठीक है. Now what we know is that because science has to be greater than English, Hindi, and social studies, okay. So if it is, it has to be greater than Hindi. If it is greater than Hindi, it will automatically be greater than English and social studies because even the highest of English is lower than Hindi. That means one thing is clear that three ninety one plus Z is greater than four hundred and seventy. 
391 plus z is greater than 470. So from here we get that z value is greater than 79. And that means z has values from 71 to 80. If it is greater than 79, then the only possible value for z is 80. Then the only possible value for z is 80. And now what do we have? That the value of uh, s is basically 400 and 391 plus 80. That will take you to 471. So the value of total value of science is 471. Okay. And let's write the minimum and maximum value possible for English and uh, English and social uh, English and mathematics. So English already the score is 374. In that a minimum of 81 will be added. So it will take the score to 455. And a maximum of 90 will be added. So it will take the score to 464. So these are the minimum and maximum scores for English. And the maximum score for mathematics is 445 plus 81. It will be max minimum, it will be 4, 526. And the maximum it can go up till is 445 plus 90, that is 530. So now we know the exact score for social studies, science, and Hindi, and the minimum and maximum possible score for English and mathematics. Now let's go to the question. So what do we have now? Which grade is awarded to Saral in science? Okay, so talking about Saral in science, he has got 80, 80 marks. 80 marks means B1. So B1, that is option number C, will be the right answer. Question number two is who gets the second highest GPA among the six students? So second highest GPA, Puneet has got because his total GPA is 44, which is the second highest. So it will be Puneet option number B. Then you have what is the sum of marks obtained by Saral in five subjects? So Saral, if you are talking about his course in English is 88. In uh, Hindi, it is 79. In maths, it is 87. Then the value of Z that is in science is known to us, that is 80. And social studies, his score is 88. So the total score is 422. That is option number A will be the correct answer. So this was a pretty good set, guys. And you will find this type of set at least one or two times in your mocks as well. So hope you have understood the set well. Thanks for watching the video.